It's a women's bantamweight title fight between Ronda Rousey and Alexis Davis. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and the same reach. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this championship fight. Will we crown a new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion tonight? Let's find out. All right, so round one is underway after her last oh! fight. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Oh, huge right hand. Big straight punch. Hard oh! left hand. Excellent movement here on the ground. Big punches here. She establishes full mount. While well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Rouse. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. It looks like she's going for a submission. Let's see if she can pull it off. This could be it. This could be it. That's it. And there That's it. Is. Great job in getting this fight to the ground quickly and getting an early submission. Yeah, that was lightning fast, Joe Rogan. She did not waste a lot of time. She knew she wanted to get this fight to the ground and let her submission skills take over. So the takedown attempt comes early in round one, and the tap comes shortly thereafter. A huge turn of events here tonight. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, So after an emphatic submission win here tonight, she remains the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. And this arguably is her most dominant performance here tonight. A lot of people thought this was a qualified, credentialed number one contender, and she was, but she proved no match for the champion here tonight. And the celebration is on. Hard to blame them after this result here tonight. Congratulations to the and still UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the world.
It's a women's bantamweight title fight between Ronda Rousey and Ketlin Vieta. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Even match up here on paper, a lot of similarities across the board, evenly matched when it comes to the numbers. <laughs> Are you ready? You ready? Fight. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. All right, she won her last championship fight by submission, and the expectation is tonight that she will have advantages in that realm of mixed martial arts yet again. All of that said, the message from her and her camp during fight week was, we can't rest on our lords. We have to be prepared that this contender has shored up her submission defense. So we're gonna take what she gives us. If we have to go into the fifth and final round, so be it. We're gonna let the fight play out. A little bit of a feeling. Wow! Oh, this could be it! All right, here we go. First round is underway. You know about her jujitsu game. She is a submission specialist, so you don't want to hang out on the feet here for too long. She's got to go for the early takedown. Let's see how quickly she tries to change up this one and get this fight down to the canvas. Lands a punch there, Joe. Oh, High-level stuff here with the ground and pound by Rousey. She moves into full mount. Big punch from the top. She's attacking with a go go plata. This is, could be it. Lean forward, pulling on the head. Oh, and this fight's is. over. This fight's over. Great job in getting this fight to the ground quickly and getting an early submission. Yeah, that was lightning fast, Joe Rogan. She did not waste a lot of time. She knew she wanted to get this fight to the ground and let her submission skills take over. So the takedown attempt comes early in round one, and the tap comes shortly thereafter. A huge turn of events here tonight. And here it is one more time in a different angle. Absolutely textbook, Gogo Plata, shin underneath the neck, locked in tight for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out and still. Greatness is a feat chased by many, but achieved by few in the UFC. To get there, it takes more than talent and skill. To be great, it also takes heart, determination, the willingness to fight the best, and the ability to beat them. She's a legend, a big, big staple in the sport, and a pioneer in MMA. Over the course of her UFC career, this fighter has done that and more, taking the sport to a new level in the process. She's been a world champion in multiple weight classes. She's made a ton of money, and she's achieved everything she'd ever wanted. There is no question that she is the greatest of all time.